so today we are going to discuss about tricks and trips uh it'll be like uh, how we can create uh, uh easy codings as well as uh, uh default uh, which is uh, available in the lab itself uh. so first time going to talk about the template vis as uh, muruganandan was uh, given some demo like uh, uh given the templates which which was available in the uh, lab itself but here little bit different we are going to talking about how to create our uh, own uh, custom things so the advantages of uh, templates will be like uh, consistency and uh, clarity and uniform so when we are developing the as a team uh, in the team if you are creating a new VA if that VA have the templates like uh, when control and like creating the new VA with the additional documents and error uh, so that will reduce the time that is what uh, saving time and money and uh, simplifying the documentation so so all the VAs throughout the project all the VAs so where we have to document that place will be like fixed so when we open and we will see the review or uh, uh, will show to the some other developers when they are opening it will be easy to understand and it will be the flexibility also will be there uh, so like uh, when we do right click in the lab view in the uh, black diagram this is like uh, this is how it will looks like this is default i have created uh, here like my template and then new uh, some sub bi so this vi will be like i can add in my uh, black diagram not as a vi as the code itself i'll uh, show you one small demo here how to do it so before that uh, yeah so i have added uh, uh, a folder under uh, user lib in lab 2020 and then uh, new sub vi this will looks like this so when we create a new uh, sub vi it should have error in and error out and there will be uh, some key structures uh, when we do the new vi sorry new vi uh, new vi so we will get the blank uh, things but the adding advantage is here like uh, uh, we have uh, predefined uh, code little bit what we have we want and then we can write here our business logic uh. okay so we'll assume that uh, this is the main vi and i want to uh, create a new uh, thing sir so i can add it and i can start to develop on here uh, my uh, codings uh, business logics here uh. so uh, this is one of the tip which uh, every uh, day i used to have uh, i use uh, this functionality and then uh, second thing will be like oh yeah i'll uh, show you how to do that so when we uh options we have to select the options and then uh, sorry edit panel sets So it looks like it's take them some some time. yeah so i'll get here uh, uh, black diagram palettes and uh, uh, functional palettes and black diagram front panel palettes so here i have created my uh, templates and then i have added my uh, uh, va here so that is that's why i'm able to see uh, uh, so as of now i'll give cancel here so when i go to new va so it will be available uh, at my templates and then uh, the VA. Yeah. 
so this will be part of inside everything will be uh, stored here it can be available here yeah and then next uh, next part will be like uh, uh, calling the example code for example uh, we are uh, developing some libraries that libraries have some examples and we want to add those examples in the uh, tools uh, menu when we are uh, uh, delivering the libraries so here like uh, this is the default uh, tools menu so as sorry this is the default uh, tools menu uh, which we have uh, what are the libraries we have installed right that everything will be uh, uh, displayed here but except this because i have added uh, this custom library and when we uh, select here example program so this custom uh, code will be executed automatically yeah here nothing i have done uh, just one loop and uh, i have given press i will show you how to do this so what we have to do is uh, basically uh, we should go to uh, lab 2020 project uh, and then uh, uh, have created a custom library and uh, the custom library uh, will be displayed here uh, and then I have added my uh, uh, VAs here. And I did some settings in the VI, like when uh, uh, loading the VI, it executes uh, in the. Uh... So I have selected this option. So whenever uh, the VI loads, this will start to execute. Uh, uh, once we have added here all our uh, required uh, examples, and then we need to restart the lab view and then uh, lab view will uh, automatically it will get detected and if we can see here like uh, our examples will be added so that is how once we did this so we can, we will get the uh, additional uh, menu here yeah and then uh, adding the shortcut menu like uh, this is already uh, uh discussed in the in this meeting uh murugan and then also explained here so uh, uh by default uh sub bi uh, create sub bi will be not available uh, uh, shortcut will be not available in the lab view so we have to add it and uh, most of the people will know uh, uh, how to add this so what i'm going to do is here uh, like uh, i'm going to open some uh, this is some small uh, vi so what i did is i have just selected and using the shortcut menu uh, i just press the control f1 here what we have set and uh, the sub vi is created as a new vi here yeah that's all any questions <laughs> 